Roto. Maisie, your, your mic. Special aloha to General Brown, who currently serves as Commander Pacific Air Force. I ask the following two questions of every nominee who comes before any of the committees on which I sit, so I will ask them. And I'd like the responses starting from the ambassador. Since you became a legal adult, have you ever made unwanted requests for sexual favors or committed any verbal or physical harassment or assault of a sexual nature? No, Senator, I have not. Dr. Anderson. No, Senator. No, Senator. Have you ever faced discipline or entered into a settlement related to this kind of conduct? No, Senator. No, Senator. No, no Senator. Question for the ambassador. The Red Hill bulk fuel tank facility in Hawaii is a strategic military asset consisting of 20 underground storage tanks, each holding 12.5 million gallons of fuel. This installation is in the order of the Hoover Dam. This facility is positioned above a large aquifer that supplies drinking water to many families on Oahu. Uh, the fuel tank leak that occurred in 2014 threatened the local drinking water supply and resulted in an administrative order of consent between the Navy, the Environmental Protection Agency, and the Hawaii Department of Health. Although the Navy has performed tank upgrades and increased groundwater monitoring, concerns in the community remain. Can I get your commitment that if you are confirmed, you will work with me to make sure that the safety of Red Hill is a priority so that the local community's drinking water is protected and the military may continue to use this resource? Senator, I lived in Waipahu, Waimea, and Barbara's Point, and uh, I've been past the Red Hill facility many times. I understand the importance to the people of Hawaii and to you, and you, I pledge my commitment to work with you to mitigate this and uh, correct it. Thank you very much. You've been asked a number of questions from a, a number of my colleagues, uh, specifically Senator Shaheen and King, about the importance of the shipyard modernization. And of course, one of the four public shipyards is in Hawaii. And also, thank you for your commitment to make sure that the health and safety of the workers there, many of whom are civilians, are, are protected during this pandemic. Now, the current layout at the Pearl Harbor shipyard is inefficient and must be updated. And Pearl Harbor is slated for a new dry dock and a new dry dock production facility in the next several years. Funding this critical program will require a significant portion of the Navy's budget. Does the Navy's fiscal year 2021 budget contain or continue funding for shipyard modernization plans so that it will be implemented on time? Senator, from what I understand, um, the uh, PSYOP uh, does include that over a 20-year period. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the particulars of that, but I understand the importance of the Pearl Harbor shipyard um, and its uh, importance uh, geographically. So uh, I look to uh, work with the Department of the Navy, if confirmed, um, as we can prioritize uh, those requirements. I would certainly like to work closely with you because there have already been some setting aside of some funding that uh, was supposed to go for a dry dock production facility to make the uh, shipyard much more efficient, and that's already been set aside in anticipation of a new dry dock and a production facility that is close to the dry dock so that it makes more sense. So I would uh, want to continue to work with you. Yes, Senator. Well, I would like to work with you because I haven't started <laughs> yet. <laughs> for uh, Dr. Anderson, uh, for over three years, Congress has directed the department to urgently deploy the Homeland Defense Radar, Hawaii. And this administration's own missile defense review released in 2019, as well as its budget request for fiscal year 2017 through 2020, the Indo-PACOM commander and missile defense experts at the Missile Defense Agency have all previously stated that this radar is critical for the defense of Hawaii against North Korea's advancing long-range missile capabilities. Dr. Anderson, if confirmed, will you continue to support the Missile Defense Agency's recommendation to build the Homeland Defense Radar, Hawaii, consistent with 2019 Missile Defense Review and its recommendations? Yes, Senator, I commit to that. Mr. Chairman, I have a, a few other questions that I will submit for the record, and I thank all of you for being here once again.